I do know that you know some things that are that people should look for are, are moles or changes in their moles, and I think that um, we have some we have up here on the screen here soon um, some images of what folks should look for. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that there's sort of a, 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 a system to remember what they yeah. are, and it's it's A B C D. Is that right? It's A B C D and the M E. There's an, an E. e. There's, there's an, an E, e now. E. Yeah. So if you could walk us through sure. these images and let, let the folks sure. at home know what, what they should be looking for. So A is asymmetry, uh, meaning it doesn't look the same all around. And if you flip it over, it's not, not going to be the same. B, border, uh, uh, regular uh, borders, so jagged edges like this photo has. Okay. Color, so people classically think of dark color as being associated with melanoma, but also multiple colors, so like this, uh, this particular melanoma has. Diameter. Diameter is probably l the least reliable one, but some melanomas often will be bigger than a pencil eraser. Okay. And then E stands for evolving or evolution, which means something that's new or changing or growing. 